So this story time is absolutely insane, also a little bit sad, and overall just something I never expected to have happen uh, in my life. But yeah, this one is definitely not a funny one in the slightest, so if you're here for something a little bit more funny and lighthearted, maybe go watch yesterday's story. But anyway guys, let's jump into this. So today's story time all takes place seven months ago, so fairly recent. Not the most recent, but more recent than most of my stories are. I had been in a happy relationship for over a year, and uh, me and my girlfriend were pretty much living together at this point, and things were going really good in my life. I mean, honestly, like, no complaints, things were perfect, and yeah, 2022 was going good, right? Now, uh, me and my girlfriend, to not be super, super specific, but at the time, uh, we didn't use, like, protection, which is really dumb. If you're in a relationship, especially one that's sexually active, use the fucking condom, use protection, be safe. We didn't do that. And that's really stupid for a lot of reasons, and uh, you're going to hear about one of them in a second. But about two months after she moved in with me, she misses her period. And she's like, oh shit, I missed my period, which can mean you're pregnant. Now, immediately, I kind of got worried, and so did she. But, you know, I was like, you know what, let's not freak out. Let's not overreact. Let's just go to the store, get a test, find out, you know, and we'll be good. So we go to the store. We go to the aisle where the pregnancy tests are. We buy one. We go back to my house. She goes and takes it. And uh, about, I don't know, like 30 minutes later, I'm in the living room watching Netflix. Haven't heard anything. I honestly assumed it was negative because I hadn't heard anything. But uh, she comes downstairs and she has a very, very afraid look on her face. And I already knew. I just already knew. She's like, yep. It was positive. Now, immediately, a lot of emotions kind of overflowed me. The first one was anxiety because I didn't expect that response. The next one was stupid. I don't know if that's an emotion, but I felt stupid because this was preventable and we just didn't prevent it. And then there was a part of me that wasn't scared. And there was a part of me that was like, you know what? Like, I'm a smart guy. My girlfriend's a smart girl. We're very mature for our age. We're both financially stable. We would be a kick-ass mom and dad. But obviously, I was getting ahead of myself, and that was just a lot of the, you know, like, emotions talking. So I looked up at her, and I was like, hey, what do you want to do? Like, whatever you want to do, I'm on board with. And she goes, I don't know. I was like, well, you don't have to decide anything now. Like, whatever you want to do, I'm on board with. Like, take some time. Think about it. And a day later, she decided that she wants to keep it, and she wants to raise a child together. So yeah, at that point, I had pretty much accepted it. As much as I was not planning for a kid and that I didn't really want to have a kid beforehand, after finding out that I was going to have one, I had fully accepted it and uh, fully accepted that, you know what, I'm going to be the best, just absolutely greatest dad that I can be. And uh, I was happy that it was with my girlfriend who I'd been with for a pretty long time. I know that sounds really wild coming from me because I've told story times in the past with like pregnancy scares and being like, oh, like glad it was just a scare and that it wasn't real because I didn't want to be a father and like I don't see myself being a father anytime soon but like now it's a little bit different because I'm older and uh, a little bit more put together and not quite a kid anymore so yeah when my girlfriend said she wanted to keep the child I was like you know what we're gonna do this we're gonna be good parents and this kid's gonna have an awesome life so I was on board we were fully on board we were all in and uh we started preparing for having a kid. Now, after we had, you know, like talked about it and said that we're going to keep it and, you know, raise this kid, I told my parents, I called my mom up, called my dad, went to dinner with them, broke the news to them. Uh, they were really, really happy. They congratulated me. They told me they knew that I'd be a good dad and that my girlfriend would be a good mother. They also said if we need any help whatsoever, they would be there for us, you know, and they were going to be awesome grandparents. I knew that. Now, after this, we had a little bit of a party. We invited all of our friends there, and we broke the news to every friend of ours in the same room at the same time, and that was crazy. And all in all, like, we were ready. We were, like, straight, just excited and ready at this point. Now, fast forward a month later. This is really where uh, it gets sad, so warning. Now, a month later, I was getting ready to tell you guys, because I know some of you were probably going to be like, hey, when do you plan on telling us? Well, a month later, I was actually getting ready to make the video announcing to my audience that I was going to have a kid and be Papa Luna. And yeah, I was literally in my room a month later making this YouTube video. I was in front of the camera, face cam, talking about it, telling you guys exactly how it all happened and how I was going to be a father. And yeah, I was making this video and about halfway through recording it, my girlfriend knocks on my door and I open it and she's crying. And obviously, pregnancy is an emotional time for women. So I was like, okay, like probably just something to do with the pregnancy, right? And I was like, what's going on? And she goes, 
I don't know, my, my morning sickness just completely vanished. Now, obviously, when girls get pregnant, they get sick in the morning pretty frequently. And she was sick like every day in the morning since finding out. So I was like really confused. I was like, what do you mean? Like, why is that a bad thing? Like, you're not getting sick anymore. She goes, no, you don't understand. Like, that's a big sign of miscarriage. And I was like, no, like you would know if it was that. Like, you would know there'd be other symptoms, other signs. And she was like, yeah, you're probably right. But still, I'm just worried about that happening. And I was like, well, try not to. Like, obviously, if more things pop up, then go to the doctor about it. But, you know, I wouldn't worry right now. Like, you might just be getting better. That's all. Like, your morning sickness just might be, you know, kind of weaning off and getting a little bit better for you. And she goes, yeah, thank you. You're right. So anyway, after this, she goes back out in the living room. I go back to making my video. And then the next day comes along. And this was going to be the day that I uploaded the video. I was definitely really excited to tell you guys. And my girlfriend seemed like she was feeling better. And, uh... Then, about two hours after waking up, my girlfriend walked into my room again, crying, and she was like, hey, you have to take me to the doctor. And I was like, why? What are you, what's wrong? She's like, I think I miscarried. And I was like, aw, shit. So I took her to her doctor, her doctor brought her in, and within an hour, we had found out that, yeah, she, she miscarried, and uh, unfortunately, the baby didn't make it, and uh, yeah, she lost her pregnancy which is so, so shitty and such a terrible feeling, not only for me, but I can only imagine for her. And yeah, it just sucked, man. Like I remember the whole rest of that day was just so like eerie and depressing and really the whole rest of that month, honestly. Um, but after about a month, you know, we, we were in higher spirits and um, we kind of just realized that, you know, everything happens for a reason and as shitty as it was, it just wasn't our time yet to have a kid. And that's how we looked at it. And that's how I still look at it. Like, I'm not the most spiritual human being, but I do believe things happen for reasons. And um, in that regard, it just wasn't our time yet to be parents. And we agreed to try later in life. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't stay together. Like, we broke up like six months later. So that sucks. You know, the more and more I talk about this story, the more and more I realize it's pretty damn depressing. And I don't like that. I usually tell funny or like crazy stories, not depressing ones. But yeah, in the end, I mean, we, we definitely learned some valuable life lessons. And, um, you know, I think when the day comes where I do have baby Luna on the way, I'll be better prepared. Moral of this story is, if you are not an adult that wants to have a kid, always use protection. I would use protection in general. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty, pretty sad. Definitely a serious story. But I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all later. Peace.